While many are prepping their candy bowls for trick or treaters, others decided to hit the road for some scary holiday chills and thrills. A number of Halloween hotspots are seeing a significant uptick in tourists. Emily Ikeda reports from one of the most iconic Halloween towns in America, Salem, Massachusetts. This October 31st, witches are swarming the streets of Salem again. I just love the vibe of it. There's no shortage of ghost schools and everything in between either. The city of Salem, Massachusetts, known for its dark history of witch trials centuries ago, has transformed into a history lover's must-see and one of the Halloween destinations in America. With 100,000 plus visitors on a single day and more than a million this month. For a city of 44,000 people, it's a, it's a lot. Uh, it's over 35% more than we had in 2019. A boom for businesses like Black Cat Tours, which just expanded to open a store. It's just wonderful to, to see that on, on people's faces, that moment of, I don't have to be a grown up anymore, I can be a kid here. Dance with me, my darling. Also home to parts of big screen Halloween hit Hocus Pocus, the city proudly laying claim to the haunted season. But it's not the only spot recording a spike in Halloween tourism. Cities like New Orleans and Las Vegas also seeing a surge compared to a typical fall weekend. Gen Z and millennial prioritize spending on travel and not just travel for those big summer vacations or long weekends, but celebrations of more micro holidays like Halloween. Total Halloween spending is expected to reach monster levels, $12.2 billion, exceeding last year's record of $10.6 billion. <laughs> Popular Halloween attractions like Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights in Orlando have been sold out for over a month. According to amusement park app, the touring plans. The events attract 30 to 35,000 people per night. Social media also driving tourism to Halloween hotspots. Feeds filled with colorful frights in the best decorated neighborhoods, including New York's Sleepy Hollow, home of the Headless Horseman. You're seeing a lot of tourists, you're seeing a lot of decorations, and you're seeing a lot of traffic. Happy Halloween! Back in Salem, officials urging visitors to use public transportation to ease traffic so there's room for everyone to relish in the spooky fun. I'd like to say, if you're going to come to Salem, come by train, come by ferry, come by bike, come by broom. Don't come by car.